All right. So in this example, guys, it says a, a plane leaves the airport at a bearing of north 17 degrees, 30 minutes west. After traveling 30 miles, how far north is a plane from the airport? So the main thing I see, guys, is I see a bearing. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, fine, north, east, south, west. So the plane is flying at north 17 degrees, so north, 17, and then 30 minutes. Now again, we can recalculate this. 17 degrees 30 minutes is 17 degrees plus 30 out of 60 minutes. Well, guys, 30 out of 60 is what? One half, which reduced to a decimal is? 0. 0.5. So this one, I don't even need my calculator. right? I could probably give you guys this one without a calculator test. Right? That's not too bad. So here's your path of your airplane. 17.5 degrees. All right, and basically what the question is saying, well, how far north did they travel? After you've traveled for 30 miles, how far are you north, right? So we could kind of say, well, let's say here's th at the end of 30 miles, how far did you travel? Which let's call this um, D again. So now there's our picture. Now let's kind of create a triangle here, a right triangle we know. 30 miles, here's D, and this is 17.5. I don't want to just use D. I'm going to be solving for D. So I'm going to, I, so I'm going to evaluate D. Say D equals the distance, the north distance the plane traveled. Or how far north the plane traveled. Now again, based on this triangle, can we write a trigonometric equation? Remember, this is like this is like the beginning of class period, right? Once you do all this, you identify your variable, you have your picture, you have your triangle. Now we could say, yeah, that looks like the cosine of 17.5 degrees is equal to d over 30 miles. And then can I just go right to my answer from here? Could I? Yes, you don't need to show me how to solve for d. I will believe you if you get the right answer that you did this correctly. But if you want to show that next step, then you can do that as well. Maybe you want to use parentheses so it doesn't look like 30 mikas. And then let's just type that in. So we do 30 times the cosine of 17.5. And whoa. Oh, OK. So round to the nearest thousandth, that would be 28.6112. Yes? No? Anybody else try again? OK. What was that again? 28.6112. There you go. Yes? For my class, I'll tell you, um, round to the nearest thousandth. I will do my best 